Right, here we go again, family. They're locking me out of my channel, so I can't upload the videos. I'll have to do it when I get home. It's just, it's just another distraction that Satan tries to do, put me off, you know. But it's always when I'm preaching. When I stop preaching, fine. It's a bit windy here. I'm trying to put, I'm on, it's got this selfie stick because I got, I brought the, the, the harness that I put the camera in, but it, um, I missed, I left one of the straps to it, so I've got it on this selfie stick. So anyway, you can see anyway. God bless you, family. Jesus Christ is coming. God bless you, Leeds. Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. Are you ready? Are you saved? Have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ? Because there is no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. Jesus Christ, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by me. That means without the Lord Jesus, you'll end up in hell. Don't wait until you're in hell before you see and realize how real it is. Be too late then. Get on board the ark. Remember the ark in Noah's day. Well, the ark of salvation now is the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the door. Jesus Christ says, I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be saved. He'll go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the god of this age, the devil, he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. We're people, that's it. What, sorry? We're people, that's it. Everybody matters to God. God loves all. He wants you to be saved, but except you repent, you won't. You, what, sorry? It's not, not, not religion, it's a relationship with the Lord God Almighty. I've got something to say, if you don't mind, respectfully. Yeah, no. So, who do you believe Jesus is? Who do I believe he is? I know he's a son of God, a holy God, a holy man. What does son of God mean? Shall I tell you what the Son of God means? Would you mind? I can speak with you in my You're a Muslim. And? Do you have a problem with that? No, no, I can just sense like what you're going with. Is it a bad vibe? Is it terrible? No, I just want to go with religion. I'll tell you what your Bible says, sir, respectfully. Son of God means to serve God. No, it doesn't. It means the anointed one. The anointed one. What does the anointed one mean? It's the Messiah. Saviour of the world. Messiah. Messiah. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Does that mean he's God? You think he's a prophet? That's Does that just, mean he's a prophet? Yes, he is God. Well, fully God, God, fully man. John, read John, John 10, 36. Because I said I am the Son of God. Jesus said it himself. So he's not God, he's the Son. The Son of God. So why do you say God? He's the only begotten Son of God. Fully God, fully man. Where does it say that? Can I tell you? Your Bible says he's a man. Look, I'm not here, so I can't. You're stopping me from preaching to people. You're preaching the wrong message. No, I'm not. I'm preaching the gospel. He's a man sent by God. No, Acts 2.22. No, no. Acts 2.22. Read it. I know what it says. Please read it. You're not scared of the Bible. Read the Bible. I'm not scared of the Bible. Acts, no, Acts 2.22. No, I'm not scared. He's a man sent by God. You're only here to argue, no, right? You're arguing. You, you are. Arguing. Actually, you don't know what you're saying. I do. I'm not here to I'm here to preach. Except you repent from, from, from Islam, sir, you perish. That's the truth. Except you believe Jesus on the Son of God. Is Who is he that overcomes this world, but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Okay? What does the Son of God mean? To serve, to serve the, God. the anointed to one. The Christ. The anointed so, one means a man. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Except you repent from your false... Islamic ways, you're going to perish. That's the truth. There's only one name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believes. Except you repent, Jesus said, you'll land in hell. You'll perish. God doesn't want you to perish. You're made in the image of God. You have an eternal spirit and soul inside you. And and depending on us whether you accept or reject Jesus, you'll find yourself in heaven or in hell. That's the truth. Repent, change your mind and believe on Jesus. He'll accept you. He'll pour out his love into your heart. Such love as you've never known before. And he'll seal you with his own spirit, Holy Spirit, until the day of redemption, which is coming soon. But Jesus said, except you repent, except you change your mind and believe, you will all likewise perish. God doesn't want you to perish. God wants none to perish. 
The Bible says God wants all to be saved. The Bible says all can be saved. It's not about anything you must do except believe on the one who did it all, the Lord Jesus. He died on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. The Son of God died for you on that cross. Jesus died for our sins. He was buried and rose again. And when you believe it in your heart and call upon the name of the Lord, you will be saved. Hail Satan! <laughs> Hail Satan. Is that what you're saying? Hell is a place of outer darkness where you'll be utterly consumed with terrors. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Repent simply means changing your mind from unbelief and believing the good news that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everyone that believes, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done. Jesus will accept you with open arms. He'll pour out his love into your heart. He'll seal you with God's own spirit until the day of redemption, which is upon us at any moment. The rapture of the church will take place any moment when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, and then we will show alive and remain to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord, and then this world shall get a rude awakening. This world shall be turned upside down after the rapture during seven years called Great Tribulation or Apocalypse. Seven years where God will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon this world which has turned its back on the one true God that made the heavens, the earth, the sea and all that is in them through his only begotten son Jesus Christ turn to the Lord Jesus we're living in the final moments of the end of this age we are so close to the rapture of the church when Jesus takes all believers up to heaven it will take more faith not to believe the Bible and the prophecies than to believe it at this stage look around the world wake up wake up people wake to righteousness believe on the Lord Jesus otherwise you're going to get a rude awakening Jesus Christ is coming. We're so close. The Lord Jesus might come today. This is how close we are to the rapture of the church. When Jesus descends and takes all who believed on him up to heaven in a twinkling of the eye. And then the missiles will come down. Worldwide famine. And then this man will come on the world stage proclaiming himself to be the saviour of the world. He will say, I am the Christ, but he is the false antichrist. And he will cause everyone to receive an implant, a mark in the right hand or in the forehead, a digital ID of some sort, and you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. But if you take that mark in your right hand or in your forehead, you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Repent, people, please. God wants to give you his free gift of everlasting life. All you have to do is reach out by faith and lay hold of it. Believe the gospel and you will be saved. How that Jesus died on that cross for all our sins. The Son of God died for our sins. He was buried, rose again from the dead on the third day as it is written. You believe that in your heart and call upon the name of the Lord, you will be saved. But if you don't and you don't repent and change your mind, you're going to hell, to outer darkness, where you'll be weeping and wailing and gnashing your teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out until we consume with terrors. If you reject the knowledge of the truth, if you reject the Lord Jesus, that's where you'll go. That's why we're here, because God doesn't want you to land in hell. God wants all to be saved, the Bible says. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There are many paths in this life that seem right to men, but the ends thereof are of death. There's only one way, there's only one name, and it's the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. God bless you. So this, this guy was coming up to me, you might have heard him, Muslim guy. I knew why he was sent straight away, not not to 
try ca try catch me out, try to make me look silly and stupid, you know. But I know straight away, as soon as he came, I knew he was there to keep me from preaching. Anyway, carry on, do some more.